Hi, this is Nick, and this is my channel, Originic. Today I'm going to do another episode in my tasting series. I'm going to branch out and do some things that I'm not confident I'll like. In the last tasting videos that I've done, I've liked everything that I tried. And so today I'm going to try something or some things that I think are a little bit more on the iffy side. Uh, before I do that, I just kind of want to talk about why I'm doing this. I'm learning Korean right now, and I'm trying to branch out and try some new foods. I'm a big fan of things like uh, kimchi, you know, bibimbap, bulgogi, samgyeopsal, and other Korean foods. And uh, I've got something here today called fish meat sausage with cheese. Uh, it looks like in Korean it's called hey oh no that's the brand. The brand is hey pyo and Koma Jangsa? Koma Jangsa, I think. Not used to uh, how this one is written right there. I'm not, that's a little too stylized in the Hangul alphabet for me to know how it's pronounced, but this is not something that I would ever buy <laughs> normally. <laughs> Um, my wife found it for me, and it says it contains frozen surimi, which I don't even know what that is, soybean oil, wheat flour, cheddar cheese, soy protein, and a bunch of other stuff. So, ah, here goes. Hey, okay, I'm going to cut this thing because I don't know how to open it any other way. Oh my goodness. It smells like bait. If you're a fisherman, it smells like something that you would use to try and catch other fish. I mean, it is made out of fish, so I guess that's not too surprising, but I mean, look at it, like, squeeze out. It's kind of jiggly and gross. Ooh. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a big bite and just go for it. It's got like the texture of a soft hot dog, which is gross in and of itself. And the flavor of fish bait it is not good. I do not like this. <laughs> I finally found something that, uh, that I don't do not enjoy. Um, all right. I need to I need something to to get that flavor out of my mouth. That was not good. So this is called Jubes. They're cubes of coconut gel. I have had these before. In fact, I think I've even had this flavor before. This is lychee flavor. These are good. And I definitely this is going to be a great great way to to get rid of the uh, fish hot dog taste in my mouth. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, you can kind of see. So I pull, I pour them into a bowl, giving some kind of liquid. It's mostly water, I think, and they're these translucent coconut gel cubes. And they taste just like lychee. I love lychee fruit. It's just a kind of a dent, uh, delicate, sweet flavor and yeah this is a very good thing to follow the the fish hot dog that I just ate this is really good and is an awesome way to follow a fish hot dog okay next we have this it's called Hong Kong very enjoyable it, also, it has surimi. I feel like, oh yeah, so the fish hot dog also contained frozen surimi. <sighs> Alright, so these are fish ball, Hong Kong style fish ball fish snacks, spicy flavor. 
Um, I think the fact that these start, the, the first ingredient in this is the same as the fish hot dog uh, is making me concerned. But I'm gonna go ahead and try it. And I should say I love fish, well, fresh fish, salmon, halibut, sushi, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but that hot dog was not good. Okay, they come in individually wrapped packages, which actually makes me worried again because I thought maybe if it was like a hard snack and maybe just had a little bit of fish flavor on it, it would have been okay. Uh, but this makes me think it's maybe going to be like wet in some way or, yeah. Okay, this smells like cat food. And yes, it is wet and shiny. It glistens. Uh, <laughs> I am nervous, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm, you know, broadening my horizons. Who knows? Might be good. Okay. This is different. Yeah, at first I was really nervous because I thought it would taste just like the hot dog. I mean, it was round out of the same stuff and it looked very similar but that was actually a lot better um, it was spicy which probably helped it had kind of a yeah like a red pepper flake spice or um, gochujang is another Korean kind of spicy paste that I like and then um, Similar can, can uh, similar texture, similar texture to the fish meat sausages, but it tasted uh, kind of like a Vienna sausage, which I don't eat anymore. But I actually would steal them. Well, not steal them. I would actually take them from my parents' pantry when I was a kid and eat them because I I really liked them. I would just eat them straight out of the can. And although I don't feel that way anymore. That actually wasn't bad. I think the combination of kind of the Vienna sausage flavor with the spiciness actually made it pretty good. I would probably, I'll, I'll actually, I'll end up finishing the bag of those when I need a spicy snack. But uh, yeah, not the fish hot dogs. <sighs> Next is cuttlefish flavored crackers has a uh, picture of a cuttlefish on the front and these kind of look like calamari. Let's see what it says. Um, cuttlefish seasoning powder, cuttlefish powder. So it looks like it actually does have some cuttlefish in it. Which is kind of sad, those things are gorgeous. Um, I've seen them when I've been snorkeling and they're really beautiful in the water, but I guess I'm gonna eat some of their powder. Man, some of these <laughs> Korean and uh, Asian market snacks are, they kind of hit you with an unfortunate smell initially. At first it was kind of this pungent, fishy smell. Now it just smells like, kind of like an oddly seasoned cracker. Okay, so there, that's what it looks like. Similar kind of to kind of like a calamari and it's crunchy obviously um has little air holes in it and it it does not taste very much like maybe in just the slightest hint of fish it tastes kind of like Sugar smack cereal, but without the sugar on it. I think kind of a wheat, crunchy wheat cracker, but airy and with a hint of cuttlefish flavoring, which, yeah, doesn't taste up that fishy. All right, next one we have is Super Crisp. So I'm gonna give you a this one looks like it has a little octopus on it. Oh no, hot chili squid. 
So these are probably gonna be pretty spicy. I like spicy as long as the spiciness doesn't overwhelm the flavor, because then it just takes away from it, I think. Super crisp, hot chili squid flavor. Seaweed is grilled in suitable temperature to maintain its quality as well as the nutrient. And then it is coated with our unique squid made sauce, ensuring the greatest smell and taste. And they say it's best served as snack with your favorite drink, which, I mean, if it's super spicy, then you would definitely want to drink. So we're a little closer as seaweed strips, it looks like. I don't know if that's what these are, but let's open it up and find out. Once again, that initial smell just kind of hit you. Not the most appetizing smell initially. But uh, if you've ever had sushi or just seaweed strips that are, you know, salted and kind of crunchy. This is similar to that, except for it's thicker and harder. So, so yeah, it just breaks instead of folds. Anyway, let's, let's see how spicy this really is. Initially, it's actually kind of sweet. And a little bit fishy, but not not too much that would turn, be a turn off to me. It's not very spicy, actually. My kids might even eat this, and they don't like fish at all. So, yeah, I thought maybe sometimes you eat something spicy, and you don't taste the spice at first, but then it comes later. And this is doing that a little bit, and it's so, okay, whoa, okay. <coughs> uh, yeah, uh, it's, yeah, it's not overwhelming, but for a minute, it kind of got in my throat. I need to eat some, some of them lychee cubes. Okay, so I actually like those. I'm not sure if I buy them every time I went to the Asian market, but pretty good. That's all the treats that I have to try today. Um, if any of them interested you, feel free to go check them out. If I can, if I can find any of these products on Amazon, I'll attach links to the description of the video. And I'm part of the Amazon affiliate program, so if you purchase any of these snacks through Amazon, I'll get a small commission uh, from the sale of the product. We'll see you next time on Originic Tastes stuff or whatever the show is called. Have a great day.